Vancouver's independent bookstores are quickly disappearing. Sophia Books on West Hastings is the latest store to close its doors. Customers have been coming for the wide selection of multilingual books for 35 years, and they say they're sad to see it go. It's too bad because that's the flavor of the communities and um, the really personal touches. We're losing all that now. I'm so sorry that this is happening. The past few years have been tough for owner Mark Fournier. Expensive building taxes, rising real estate costs and competition from the larger chain stores have made it hard on business. I'm looking at the trends in the, in the book industry and it's, 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 it's not very bright right now. It's a major revolution. We don't know which way it's going to go. There's new channels to get information. Um, distribution is becoming expensive because especially in this case like us, we have to get the books on far and delay. People are not willing to wait three weeks anymore for a book. The internet is giving an illusion that it can be done like that. Technology that displays books in digital format like the Kindle Reader and the iPad are changing the industry, but this bookstore owner says people will always want books they can put on their shelves. Those are books you hold and smell and uh, you put on your bookshelf because they look gorgeous. You know, you put Kindle on your bookshelf and doesn't look gorgeous. I carry mostly out of print books and uh, people can't get those new. So I'm not competing with chapters. As for Mark Fournier, his shop is closing at the end of May. I've been selling books in Vancouver for 23 years, so it's not something I can stop overnight. The future of these small bookshops may be uncertain, but one thing's for sure, people still enjoy reading a good book. Monica Martinez in Vancouver for BCIT Magazine.